Hi, right, evening everybody, and welcome back to Dave's Little Beasties. Today we're going to um, visit boxing centipedes. So, carrying on from our series of how we post our slings and how we post our adult spiders, you would have seen back in them. Um, today I'm going to show you how we box up, ready for the post, our centipedes, and uh, hopefully throw in a few tips. So if any of you guys need to do it, you'll know what to do. And also as well, you'll see that centipedes aren't really as bad as we all think. So fingers crossed, it all goes well. See you very shortly. All right, so here we have our Chinese giant tiger leg. Now you'll see, as before when we've done our spiders, we have our cricket tub, which is what I use to uh, to house the, the, the spiders or the centipedes ready for the post. And we've done the same as we did with the spiders. We've lined it with it tissue paper in the bottom. This is made damp. And then what we do for the centipedes is we actually fill the tub with sphagnum moss, which is very, very slightly damp. Nothing too much. Now, um, as you can see now, what we're doing is we're, we're taking everything out of the, the centipede's tank. And you can see this one's quite a fast centipede. He's, uh, he's, he's shifting around a little bit. They get a little bit agitated, so we, we just go nice and slow, nice and gentle. And as you can see now, we're using the side of the tank. That's a nice solid flat thing so we can now push the box up against the glass that holds the centipedes in place. Yeah, we've got him. It's as easy as that. Nice and simple, nice and easy. Another good thing with a with a cricket box, we can actually see everything that's going on. So there he is. Once he's got his head in there, he's quite comfortable as you can see. Now we put the tissue on top. What did I forget? didn't spray it. Oh look at that. The minute we sprayed the, the tissue paper he felt the vibration. He's out. He's on his way. So here we go. Now we've got to start all over again. Now that was a bit of a schoolboy error. But it happens. So here we are. Bearing in mind now that Mr Centipede here knows what's going on. So he's not likely to get caught twice, is he? So we've got to try and coax him back into a position where we can uh, get him up against the glass again. Here we go, he's done it. Now sometimes they'll go like this and then they'll climb straight back into the pot and they'll bury themselves in the moss, which is really what we're after. That's what we'd like them to do. Mm -hmm. There we go. He's just going to sit tight now. Try and get that lid in there. It's not really working, is it? No, it's not not quite working. Look, he's going to come out the bottom. All right, change of tactic. Always think in front. Here we go. Right, here we go. We'll bring him up the top. We'll put the lid on the outside, maybe. There we go. There you go. See? Nice and easy. All right, we'll try that again, shall we? So just try and think as you go along. Stay calm. I don't think we're going to bother trying to open this one up. We'll leave him there. And that's him. Now then, we'll move on to our second one. This is a Nigerian tiger striped centipede. Uh, this particular centipede is, is a little bit smaller. As you can see, we can, we can take all the stuff out. We don't want all the water bowls and bits and wood and things like that inside the enclosure because what we really want is a is an empty enclosure that gives us room to work now this little fella here you'll notice there's a different behavior in this centipede straight away the last one was quite happy to run along the top and he was visible all the time this particular one what does he do he wants to bury himself so this is going to be a little bit more awkward because no sooner do we get him out, bang, look, he's down there again, he's gone. We need to get him 
up on the surface so that we can actually get him in the box. Here we go. We have an opportunity here. Remember, stay calm. There's a berry. Now, I hear a lot of people are uh, very nervous around centipedes. And with, you know, to some extent, that's uh, justifiable. You wouldn't want to get a nip from one. But generally speaking, they're not too bad. They're not something you want to handle. They're more of a, a look a look and watch type uh, creature. Here we go. Now look, see if we can just get him to go up. No, he's determined to bury himself. Now just remember, stay calm, be patient. Oh, nearly had him. This is the key here, is patience. It can be a little frustrating when they're like this. But just stay calm and be patient. It will all work out in the end. There he goes. And he's in. <laughs> no, he's not in. Oh my God, Dave, what is going on? What are we playing at? Right, let's try again. And I think you'll see, <laughs> and I think you'll agree, that this demonstrates that not everything happens correctly the first time round. Sometimes we just have to have a little bit of a play around, a little bit of patience, and we get there in the end. There you go, safely in the box. Oh dear. A marathon, isn't it? Take the label off the uh, off the tank. We don't need that anymore. We can put that on the box so when it goes off to his new owner, they will know exactly what he is. Latin name and common name all on the label. Now then, you'll see this time we're a little bit more prepared. I'm always telling you guys, be prepared. There you go. Got our tissue. It's already moist. Straight on there. No dramas no escapes. Well done Dave. Now then, this particular centipede, this is a beautiful centipede. You also see with the enclosures there, they're actually quite dry and centipedes generally do prefer a drier habitat. They certainly uh, survive a lot longer. They don't like it too moist. Now look at that, what a stunning centipede. The enclosure that this is in is in a 20 by 20 by 30. So give you an idea of a size. And I think if, uh, if I'm correct, the cricket boxes are around about six or seven inches long. So it gives you an idea of her actual size, but look at the girth on her. That's a very, very impressive centipede. Very pretty one too. And as you can see, she's not particularly bothered about burying herself. So we can just move her against the glass, nice and gently. Look at that, she's in. You notice we're not having to be too worried. She's not being aggressive in any way. And there you go. Nice and simple. There you go, wait for her to bury herself down into the moss. That's it, she's in. Nice bit of damp tissue on the top. And that's it, she's done. Put the labels on. And we're away. Now then. This is the Laos flame. And as you can see, very similar scent centipede, but this one's much darker. Look at the real red legs on her. This particular centipede is actually um, 
a little bit more aggressive. She's, um, she's a little bit touchy compared to the other one. So what we're doing is we, you notice we're using a slightly different box as well. And this is because this this end be, she is a little bit bigger, and um, she's going to be going on a slightly longer journey. So we're going to give her a little bit more space. But you'll notice we put the tissue all the way up the sides, and like I said before, we dampen the tissue off as well. And then this uh, the box itself is is actually packed with quite a lot of uh, sphagnum moss. We don't want them rattling around in there. Also as well the moss gives them somewhere to hide so they're, they're less inclined to try and escape or chew their way out or what have you. Here she goes, gently does it. She actually flicked herself in the box there. She just pulled the rubbish out. She's in. Nice and easy. Lovely job. There we go, just make sure we can get the lid shut. Now then, this is a real treat for you. This is the Darwin's centipede. Giant centipede, a true giant. Now this guy here is in a is a tank in a tank that's uh, 12 inches square. And she actually runs the full length of this, so she, she is practically 12 inches long. And as you can see, she's a heavy centipede. These guys are absolutely awesome. Now what we're doing now, you can see uh, the cricket tub is no longer going to be any good for this type of centipede. You've got to be very, very careful because when she climbs up the side, she can go straight up the side and out. She's a big, big girl. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick her up and we're going to try and ease her into the box. Now bearing in mind that box I think is eight, eight inches square I think that box is. So we're just going to keep her nice and calm. We don't want to get her too excited. Keep her moving reasonably slowly. Now I'm using the uh, the wooden forceps here because they've got a nice hook on the end. So I can actually pick her up with them just by using the hook of the wood, as you can see. It's not actually squeezing her. And all we're doing is we're pointing her head inside the box. And we gently tickle her bum and she's climbing in there. As far as she's mm -hmm. concerned, she's hiding from us. So there you go, nice and easy. True giant. One successful Darwin. And that boys and girls is how we do it. <laughs> right then, well I hope you enjoyed them a uh, few clips there and you hopefully got some, uh, some tips on how to box centipedes. And you'll see from what we've done there that some gentle handling, and they're all reasonably calm, apart from that one individual who uh, really gave us the run around. Um, I could have kicked myself there because I actually had him in the box at one point, and then, like a fool, I let him go again. So uh, just goes to show, it doesn't always work to plan, and uh, sometimes we have to be a little bit patient and just work it out. But uh, anyway, uh, hopefully that was uh, entertaining if nothing else and uh, you would have learned a couple of bits and pieces along the way as we do every time we do it. Uh, one more thing, we do have a little introduction. I'd like to, well, I'd like to show her off a little bit. Welcome Miss Peaches. Here she is. Isn't she beautiful? Especially when she's in focus, look at that. Now then, Miss Peaches is a Nephilia inorata. 
which commonly known as the red-legged golden orb weaver. Now she's only a baby at the moment. She's uh, what we class as a sub-adult, I would say. And she just hangs, as you can see there, she just hangs there in the room of Dave's little beasties and um, hopefully she'll pick up any of them little pesky little flies that we are buzzing around when I'm working in here that drive me absolutely nuts. So she's, she's got to earn her keep, guys. She's got to earn her keep or she'll be gone. Well, maybe not because I'm getting rather fond of her. But, um, but yeah, this is Miss Peaches. So uh, any comments about her, make sure they're kind, then um, we'll follow her through and we'll see what she gets up to. And hopefully you'll get, you guys will get to see her develop over time and eventually she's going to need a much bigger hoop because uh, these guys get quite big. So you're probably looking at around this sort of size. She'll, she'll sit on your hand quite well. So anyway, that's Miss Peaches. And uh, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, don't forget, be calm, be gentle, and love your spider. I'll see you again soon.